doing a deep dive on Web3 music today. And one of the big ones in the space is a project called Audius. We've done a little bit of a, a rundown on this one before. Today, we're going to jump in and do a little bit of an update because there is some activity on the token itself, but also some activity with the project. My name is Paul Bear. Welcome back into TechPath. Let's get into it today. If you guys aren't aware of Audius, it's, uh, it's a pretty, I won't say it's simple, but it is easy to understand. It is a music platform. Audius is a way for you to discover new music around creators in the Web3 ecosystem. That It blends in with what uh, most people know, and that is the investment in the token itself, which is audio, and the ability to bring in a lot of new artists, all those kind of things. They've had some big names come in. But there's some interesting things happening here with Audius, and it's primarily around discoverability. And, and I'll explain this because it, it really does play into where the future of maybe Web3 music is going to be going. Let me get into a little bit here. Google Play, you can get it. Uh, over 100,000 downloads right there, as you can see. Uh, not great on the stars, but the good thing is, is we're seeing a fairly significant amount of downloads coming in from Audius. If you look at uh, the Apple ecosystem, also available, but uh, rating around 437 ratings. Not a lot of ratings there again, so needs needs expansion. So you can see one of the problems developing here with Audius, and that is discoverability. And this is something that I think they've been able to crack into, start to add some new features, and really kind of start to explore how to get music discovered. Just like, you know, if you look at Spotify and the ability for great artists to kind of elevate to the next level, it's all based on discoverability. Uh, something that you're watching YouTube right now, probably the best discoverable engine out there because of those way those algorithms work. Uh, further, if you look at uh, Audius, this is their app ranking. And I'm going to go back here and you can kind of see it back here in January of 2023. It started dipping a little bit here, but the point is, is it's up from just here at the end of last month where uh, the app rating was much lower than it is now at 386. So again, moving up the charts, definitely starting to become something that's very interesting to watch. Uh, the other thing that you want to look at is some of the cool features inside of it. And let me kind of refresh this for you guys because it'll, it'll repaint this one. But uh, you'll notice here that there is uh, tipping features in here to artists, an ability to tip actually the token itself. Now, this has a lot of similarities to what has been happening in the podcast uh, 2.0 space because you can tip sats, satoshis in that. And I think this is something we'll start to see a lot more of. The question is going to be how can it be done in an integrated way for mass adoption. That's going to always be a scenario that plays into it. So what Audius has done is they've partnered up with Coinbase Pay. Uh, so it makes it available for uh, users to go in, purchase audio using your Coinbase account, uh, and then you can do Audius tips. So it's a very easy process. And this is something uh, I've been talking to a few people about with Coinbase. It's actually becoming more of a uh, app that people are using even though it is an exchange, people are using it more for payment apps, be, being able to integrate into third parties like this. This could be a big uh, feature in the future, especially if Coinbase continues to move up in terms of adding feature uh, features and ability into what Coinbase is doing. Think of it like the PayPal aspect of it. Almost everything out there takes PayPal, it integrates, it brings up your little profile, you log in and bam, your payment is done. There could be some things brewing around this with connectivity into Web3. So some very cool aspects here for it. Uh, share to Snapchat is probably one of the biggest uh, advantages here, as you can kind of see uh, right here on the video. What happens here is within the Audius ecosystem, it has the ability to just go right in and integrate in. So within the iOS app and the Android app, you're able to uh, share a piece of music by an artist directly right out in Snapchat. So uh, again, another big feature here for discoverability because this is going to give artists the ability to be discovered and for a lot of emerging artists to actually maybe start to create some revenue, which is where the creator economy starts to really make sense in Web3. So that's one thing I really like about it. And remember, discoverability is a big issue uh, in the industry. And I think one thing that is going to play into this is how and what platforms enable this discoverability. Because we're still kind of stuck in this Web 2 world 
trying to utilize and stack upon Web3 services and tools, but utilizing kind of the, the current highway out there, which is Web2 and the internet as we know it. So that's a big one. Uh, Audius also allows you to connect your Phantom wallet uh, along with MetaMask and, and so on. So I think this, again, is another big feature for being able to do this. Now, the cool thing is, is that if you're connecting your wallet, this means that the likelihood of NFTs and all of that integration is going to start happening within Audius, which really starts to play into a, a very big way for music around owning music as an NFT, something we've talked about here on the channel for quite some time and a big, big opportunity. Now, I want to show you some analytics here. This is actually from the protocol dashboard. Uh, unique users, uh, this is this month. Uh, but I want to show this chart right here. This is the all-time chart. Now, if you look down here, this is back in July. This is the amount of API calls that were done. It's cruising right along, all improving, and then bam, right here. Uh, in November, we start to see this acceleration. Obviously, that being Snapchat. This is just beginning, too. So the likelihood, again, API calls this month, 237 million. This is going to go to pretty significant numbers in terms of exposure for not only Audius, but a lot of the creators on Audius. Further into this, I wanted to show something here. This is their all-time users on unique users. So it's up from last, you know, 575,000 in August to where they're setting right now, 3.3 million in December. That's a pretty significant thing. Then you've got the third-party apps. Now, let me explain something about third-party apps that are, going to, that are starting to develop on an ecosystem like Audius. This is really, and you need to listen to this if you're listening on the podcast right now. Track it back a minute. The key here with third-party apps, if you think about how Twitter and Facebook and all of those closed gardens used to work, in the old days, all of the developers were building on it. When you think about Twitter, most of all of Twitter's features, you know, hashtags, uh, scroll to refresh, all those kind of features were done by third-party developers. And then Twitter basically kind of shut all that down, closed it all up, and basically, uh, dominated what was happening within the Twitter ecosphere. That's Web 2. Web 3 is where we'll be able to see third-party integrations into platforms like this without the ability to censor or pull down. This is something that's very important that I think Web 3 is starting to maybe get into the minds of a lot of creators because creators are the biggest ones that are dealing with those challenges. Reason is, think about this iTunes, Spotify, Google Music, et cetera, uh, Amazon Music, all of those are basically featuring all of the premium artists. So discoverability of new artists are almost impossible. You have to really go out there and create your own uh, market, your own uh, aspect around social. All that has to be done on you. So I think this is going to be a big part of how Audius ends up growing. Um, Gala is the other big player in the space. Now, just remember Gala, uh, full disclosure, they're a sponsor of our channel, uh, and they've done something that I think is interesting here. They go a little different angle, and that is the nodes uh, is the approach. So it, this is how nodes power the music. It's a decentralized music network. And I think this is one of the cool features of Gala. At the same time, Gala Music has done some interesting things with uh, not only the update of the current beta that's out there right now, but the opportunity of what's happening in terms of layout design and all that. The other thing is their partnerships are starting to accelerate. The point is, is that music in general is moving very fast in Web3, and I think companies like Gala and also, you can kind of see here, um, Gala, this is Snoop Dogg's page there. So again, the thing I like about this is it's, uh, it's UI. It's a very, it's, it's a good-looking UI, it's sexy, and it's going to be, uh, to a certain level, it'll draw users in. And that's another thing that you've got to be able to get to for Audius, design, UX, and then being able to do what they're doing right now with these third-party ecosystems as well as these Web2 third-party ecosystems that get discoverability out there. That's why Audius is popping. So uh, think about that right now. Let me take a look quickly at the chart. To give you an idea, I mean, look at this growth right here, just in a very short period of time. We'll go down here from right here, Jan 6th, and you've got a nice move right there, 132%, guys. So this is the example of where and what has been happening. If you look at our own CPI data, 
Audius back here. This is early January. Look where this thing was. It was back in the 40s. And it's popped up to almost where it's overperforming market average, which is huge for a small project. Uh, for it to accelerate this much, this is exactly what drives this kind of growth right here. So anyway, the good point is, is that with this move, uh, now the question is, is Audius got some runtime here? I don't know. We're going to be uh, analyzing this one a little bit deeper. Remember, Audius Hat did have an all-time high back here. If you go back into the charts, you can kind of see some of their big moves all the way back here to uh, April of last year, which was $1.45. It's trading at 31 cents. So this one could be one of those that gets a major push during the next um, bull cycle. And the big key here, partnerships, discoverability, third-party app ecosystems. Those are things you need to be watching for. All right, you guys, uh, you guys are tuned in over on, maybe on the podcast side of things. Jump in over here to the YouTube channel. It's where we do all of our deep dives on this, like project analysis chart, which we just reviewed with CPI as well as uh, TradingView. Uh, but also make sure and join in to the Diamond Circle. Diamond Circle is the place for you. Uh, we've got new links going out to the Diamond Circle because we just launched the new home for Diamond Circle, which is going to be on Substack. So pbn3.substack.com. You'll be able to get to the Diamond Circle quickly. Or you can go to Paul Barron Network. You'll find us. The point is, there's a lot more content coming in there, so make sure and join that. If you guys want to reach me, it is out there on Twitter, at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on TechBath.